What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to create a rotation transition in DaVinci Resolve. Version 15 of DaVinci Resolve is used in this tutorial. In order to import the image file that you wish to add a rotation transition to, go to File, Import File and Import Media. Inside my media pool, I can see the PNG file which I have imported. If I left click, hold the mouse button down and drag this to the timeline. If I left click on and drag my red indicator to the end of my image edit, like so, you can see that the image will last for five seconds on this video project. I am going to trim this image down to a two second duration by again left clicking on and dragging the red indicator back to the relevant section of this timeline. Let go of the left mouse button once the red indicator is at the relevant section. In this case here at the two second mark. Use the blade edit mode by left clicking to select and left clicking on the line from the red indicator to cut your image edit into two pieces. Go back to the selection mode tool which you can also select pressing A on your keyboard. Left click once on the part of the edit which you no longer need and press delete on your keyboard to remove. Keeping my red indicator at the end of this particular image edit, I'm now going to left click once on the edit itself so that it is now highlighted with a red outline. In your inspector window, underneath transform you should find a setting called rotation angle. By the end of this two second segment I want for the logo to have rotated anti-clockwise by 90 degrees. What I can therefore do is double click in the box with the zeros next to rotation angle and manually type in 90. Press enter when you're done. Left click on the diamond next to 90 to create a keyframe which will basically represent the end of this rotation transition. Now left click on and drag your red indicator back to the start of your image edit. Bear in mind in the preview that the logo is still facing upwards with the 90 degree anti-clockwise setting still in place. In order to return the C in the logo to its original state so that it is not rotated at an angle, I'm going to left click on the diamond icon once more in rotation angle, double left click on the 90 and change this to zero. If I preview the video now on my edit timeline, we should have a quarter of a full rotation transition appearing on screen. What I need to do now in order to complete the final three quarters is to copy this image once more by right clicking on the edit on the timeline and selecting copy. Since the red indicator is at the end of my edit on the only video track on my timeline, I can right click on the timeline here and go to paste. Paste insert should also work in this case here. Ensure that there are no edits further down your timeline that you wish to move forward. For example, if I have my red indicator in between two edits and right click and choose paste insert, the new third edit has been squeezed in between the first and second edits with the second edit having been moved forward down the timeline. The paste option will overwrite anything else on the timeline in its path, like so, with a new logo image replacing the previous copy. In order to continue my animation, if I drag my red indicator back to the start of my second edit, I want it to continue on from the end of my first edit. If I left click on my first edit, you can see that at the end, the rotation angle is set to 90. If I left click on the second edit and set this to 90 also, press enter, so that the C is rotated anti-clockwise by 90 degrees. Now drag your red indicator towards the end of the second edit. And this time for your final keyframe at the end of this edit, you should change the number to 180. Paste another copy of your image edit. The first keyframe for your third edit 
should contain a rotation angle of 180. And if you drag the red indicator to the far side of this third edit, the final keyframe should read 270. Finally, the first keyframe of the fourth image edit should contain 270 as its rotation angle. And the final keyframe for the fourth edit should read 360 in the rotation angle setting. Do not be concerned if your image is tilted down slightly as the rotation will continue smoothly if you repeat these four steps once again on your timeline. If you were to repeat the rotation once again by copying and pasting all of these edits alongside your initial four by holding control, left clicking on each edit and right clicking to copy and pasting them using the red indicator after the first four you should find that the rotation process repeats for a second time very smoothly. Otherwise, drag a still image of the picture that you have been rotating from your media pool to the end of the timeline so that the image ends up in its correct position once more. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.